Oh, Jade, it's such a rainy, foggy day today that I can't think of anything better than to be able to pick books up curbside. Now, if you need to have some suggestions for books, or if you'd like us to curate a bag and put together a bag of books for you, just give us a call, 925-2168, and we'd be happy to do that for you. Jade, I've read a really powerful book. Kirsten Hannah, The Four Winds. She's an author I often recommend when people want something with just a little more depth than a romance. I'm not sure she's called a romance writer, but um, you know, I think she's just got a little more to her. Some of her books are, are really quite powerful in their messaging. This one, oh my gosh, I cried a few times. Um, it was about a very strong woman, Elsa, who was did not feel loved by her family. So her whole life, she was under this cloud of how inadequate she was. And uh, when you see her move through this book, her journey through this book, you actually see this incredible inner strength that she has. Uh, and I think that's where Kirsten Hanna is so powerful as well. She gets right into the depth of a person's character, soul, if you really want to go that far, and certainly with Elsa. It happened in the 1930s in the Midwest when uh, there were dust storms, animals were dying, people were dying, and they had to move out of their, their farms. The farms just, oh, it's just awful the way it was described. Animals dying, the ground being blown away. And her husband left her. Uh, she kept sort of the home fires burning. She stayed with her in-laws who were very loving to her, with her two children, they had two children. And then all of a sudden things were going so badly that she finally decided to get the courage and go to California. And the trials there, having to get up four o'clock in the morning, picking cotton, their hands bleeding, and what she went through there is just such a fascinating story because I believe it really explores the depths of what happened at that time. Unfortunately, I can't say Kirsten always has a happy ending, but it is a powerful book and I would highly recommend it. Wow, Rose, that does sound like a very powerful read. Um, this week I have a, a darker read too, which is probably maybe not as surprising. However, I did challenge myself this year to read a bit more nonfiction than I do usually. So I was quite intrigued by Kevin Donovan's The Billionaire Murders, which centers on the Barry and Honey Sherman case out of Toronto. Now, Barry is a multi-billion dollar founder of a company called Apotex, which um, creates generic brand drugs. So he, he's known even in his later stages of life to just be a voracious worker, he lives to work. And he always kind of joked that it was his job to make all of this money so that his wife could decide which um, charities it could go to. So while he was very focused on work, he was also very philanthropic. Now, Barry and Honey were building a new mansion in North Toronto and accordingly they had two of their other homes on the market. And one day their real estate agent was taking a prospective buyer through one of their homes and came upon a really grisly scene. It was clear that Barry and Honey Sherman were no longer living. Now, initially the Toronto Police Department were investigating as if it was a murder-suicide, but eventually decided that, it, that based on how they were found and through a bunch of other evidence, um, it was clear that it was a double homicide, which is pretty rare, especially in this sort of neighborhood. However, Motives around Barry and Honey Sherman abound because of their wealth and, and a few different family storylines that go along there. I was lucky enough to listen to The Billionaire Murders, which was, just, which was narrated by author Kevin Donovan, and that was one of the Lucky Day titles on Libby. But the library does also have a text copy here, so if you're interested in that, I would definitely suggest putting your holds on it. And we hope you guys have a good week. We want to thank you guys for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.